Cambridge is one of the most productive, successful places in the world to study. Um, there are world-class experts in the field, outstanding mentorship, and a research infrastructure that's really unmatched in anywhere that I would have, have gone. I don't know if you felt when you first came to Cambridge how daunting the experience of a college system was. So I came from universities that didn't have that. So actually figuring that out would have been very hard if it wasn't for all of the postgraduate societies. They come and welcome you. So even if you're someone from a totally different place that's never experienced colleges, you will always feel welcome. As an American, we don't really have different colleges that function within a university. Um, I had no idea what college to put down, what I was going to do. Ultimately, I think as we've both mentioned, um, it doesn't matter where you are in the university, you'll find your community. I think it's honestly crazy how, how many people are here that are like one really ambitious, but also so knowledgeable about their subjects. So doing research in Cambridge, I think is really, really nice. You're surrounded by people who are interested in helping others as well and that sort of inspires you to do better. It's led to an experience that makes me actually feel like I think a fuller human. You're able to talk to people from different departments, different colleges, different fields all together and it's so interesting to get that perspective from a friend who's in sociology versus zoology, uh, a person from political backgrounds. Many great ideas can uh, be launched from the cross-pollination of people coming from those different backgrounds. I thought it would be very academic and just focused on my classes and that's it but it's you know it's also a life and a home that you get when you come here. I was under the impression that I'd just be sitting in some library all day 7 a.m to 11 p.m but it's not like that like you said there's so much to do. I recently I have got involved to a society for mature students and it has lots of international students and very like interesting platform. I think that Cambridge is a great place for international students. The fact that I'm fully funded has meant that I haven't uh, needed to do any work on the side. And the PhD is a very stressful time. And so not having to worry about finding additional work to support yourself while doing it um, makes a big difference. Yeah, and I, I certainly, without the funding, wouldn't have been able to do, um, do the PhD. So I think what we try to do at least is with every step we take along the way in the research, is trying to think about the impact it could have. We sometimes turn around and say, how can we produce research that directly can be of help for policymakers? You also feel a great sense of gratitude because someone has paid for you to do research. You get an extra inspiration, an extra drive, and I really feel that. Every morning I wake up and I get excited because I know that several um, organizations have given me money to do uh, research that they believe in. As we've mentioned, there's this imposter syndrome and these ideals that surround Cambridge. I think something I would encourage applicants to do is try and to not self-eliminate. I think there's a tendency to assume that you won't be good enough or it's perhaps not worth trying or wasting your time. So as my supervisor put it, you can do something in your PhD that leads to a Nobel Prize. Like sky is the limit. And so I think my greatest encouragement would be to just attempt it. Just try. Put in your application. I think many people are qualified in ways that will be appreciated and seen.